वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू टू वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल्स बेस्ड ऑन पावर डिलीवर्ड एंड एब्जॉर्ब्ड बाई द सोर्सेज सो लेट आर सी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हियर सो हियर यू सी इन क्वेश्चन वी हैव द पावर सप्लाइड बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव वोल्टेज सोर्स इन फिगर शोन इज हाउ मच सो वी हैव दिस ट्वेंटी फाइव वोल्टेज सोर्स एंड हाउ मच पावर दैट इज सप्लाइड बाय दिस सो यू सी इफ आई से हियर करंट दैट इज बीन सप्लाइड बाय दिस एंड यू सी इन दिस विंग करंट इज ऑल्सो गिवन आई सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट पावर सप्लाइड बाय दिस ट्वेंटी फाइव वोल्टेज सोर्स देन सिंपली दैट विल बी पी इज इक्वल्स टू वी इन टू आई वेर वी इज ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड वी वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट नाउ वैल्यू ऑफ आई सो नाउ अवर क्वेश्चन इज टू फाइंड I so that we can identify how much power that is supplied by 25 voltage source. Now, if you see carefully this circuit, then see here we have current source that is having current 0.4 I. So here we have 0.4 I current. Here 14 ampere current is given, and here I current is there. And if you apply KCL at this node A. then we can identify the value of i right so let us apply kcl at node a so entering current that is equals to leaving current entering current is i and 0.4 i so i can say that i plus 0.4 i that is entering current and leaving current is 14 ampere so this is 1.4 i that is equals to 14 so i can say that i is equals to 10 ampere right so power supplied by this 25 voltage source that is 25 into i so 25 into 10 means it will be 250 watt right so our answer is 250 watt so that is how simply we can find values of power supplied or power absorbed let me give you second question so that will improve your understanding further so here now you see in second question power delivered by the current source is how much now if you observe this circuit then in this circuit we have only one current source right and it is delivering power so here if i say here voltage is v right and if you identify this voltage v then simply you can say that power supplied by this current source that is v into i where v is v only but i is 2 so 2v that will be the power supplied by this current source so at this node will be having voltage v right and this is ground that i can say so now our question is what is the value of v right now to identify the value of v we should be applying nodal analysis at this node and for that first what i'll do is i'll consider current direction so let us say this is i1 let us say this is i2 like this and here already we have 2 ampere current and you see as per this one voltage with respect to ground is connected so here we have one volt and here we have unknown voltage right so i can say that this is having let us say voltage v dash so let us apply kcl at node v so if you apply kcl at node v i1 i2 and i3 all three currents are entering the node so i can say that i1 plus i2 plus this current is 2 ampere right and that is equals to 0 now let us find the value of i1 so i1 is how much tail voltage minus head voltage divided by resistance tail voltage is 1 voltage head voltage is v so 1 Minus V divided by resistance is one. Plus, what is the value of I two? Tail voltage minus head voltage divided by resistance. Tail voltage is V dash. So V dash. Head voltage is V. So V dash minus V divided by resistance is one. Plus two is equals to zero. So I can say that this will be one minus V plus V dash minus V plus two. that is equals to 0 so this will be now you see 1 plus 2 3 plus v dash 
is there and minus v minus v that will make it to minus 2v and that is equals to 0. So now we wanted to have a value of v right but here unknown quantity v dash is there. So let us find the value of v dash and then we will be having the value of v and based on that we can have the value of power delivered by this current source. Now to find v dash if you observe this voltage source of 1 volt right let me draw it over here. So here if you see this 1 voltage battery then here we have 1 volt and here we have v dash right. So based on this what I can say is 1 minus v dash that is equals to 1 right. So what, what I can say 1 means plus terminal minus minus terminal that is v dash that is equals to this voltage that is 1. So I can say that v dash that is 1 minus 1 that will be 0 voltage right. So now I got this v dash that is 0 voltage. So if you place v dash is equals to 0 then you will be having value of v. So let us find this value of v that is you see now v dash is 0 so 3 by 2 that will be v so that is 1.5 volt. Now we have the value of v that is 1.5 so power p that is 2v and v is 1.5 so 2 into 1.5 that will be 3 volt. So I hope that you have understood this still if you have any query you just post that in comment box. I have already made three another separate videos based on power delivered and power consumed by the sources. So you just go through it that will definitely improves your understanding to solve questions based on how much power is delivered by the voltage source or current source or how much power is absorbed by the voltage source or current source. Thank you so much for watching this video.